Okay, so this is my um, Pinterest business hub. As you can see, my profile is very new. I only set it up about three days ago. Um, and each day that I check in, my impressions are going up. So already I've had 2.3 thousand, 2,300 impressions, which is up about almost 700, 7,000 um, percent. 45 pin saves and 12 website clicks, which is honestly unbelievable considering I really just set up this Pinterest account three days ago and I'm still not getting any clicks from Google. So I'm starting to think if you're just starting out, Pinterest is probably the way to go rather than Google when it comes to SEO. So 15 followers, 465 monthly views. I'm not very big, I'm gonna make that totally clear. Um, I'm sure there are bigger people on YouTube and on Pinterest that are giving tutorials, but I wanna show you guys how I do it absolutely from scratch and how it, it seems to be working for me. So go into my Pinterest profile. What I'm gonna go into is how to SEO optimize the name of your Pinterest account, the description of your Pinterest account, the boards within your Pinterest account, both by the name you're giving them, the name of the board, and the description of the board, and then for each individual pin, how to SEO optimize what's on the pin, the title of the pin, and the description of the pin for every single pin that you're planning to put on your Pinterest page. Okay, I'm gonna start off by showing you guys my profile on Pinterest for my YouTube account, which is what you're watching right now. Uh, so this is Social Media Growth Hacks. The name, I have named it Social Media Growth Hacks, Blogging Tips and Making Money Online. So this is the very first thing I'm gonna talk about, which is just naming your profile. Now, the reason I did that is I heard if you type into the search bar certain keywords and then find the keywords that are related to your profile or your blog or your YouTube channel and be sure to include them in the heading and in the description of your profile. So if you look here, if you put like Pinterest type in Pinterest marketing, you have all of the top keywords that people search for. And then you also have actual people. These are people's profiles that have added Pinterest marketing into the name of their profile. So they're gonna get, I think this girl is pretty big. Let's click her. Yeah, 1.5 million monthly viewers. So she's called Louise Myers Social Media Marketing Tips. I talk a lot about blogging, so I thought I would include blogging tips as a sort of keyword included in my profile name. So then if I type in blogging tips, you can see here my profile actually comes up and this is Anastasia Blogger. She's a huge Pinterest marketer. Um, I think she has a really big following. I'll just click on her. Yeah, 10 million monthly views. Um, so she has blogging for beginners and bi online business tips inside of her profile name. And then I'll just check for making money online. Yeah, so I'm come up here, social media growth hacks, blogging tips and making money online. So people are going to click on my profile if they're searching for making money online. And then I can look at these different keywords and potentially use them as keywords in my boards, in my description, in my pins, stuff like that. Same with these keywords, blogging tips. Yeah, so blogging tips for beginners, blogging tips and tricks, blogging tips and ideas. So then you've got the description, uh, helping you grow your social media following, blogging tips for beginners. So those there's a keyword, blogging tips for beginners, social media following, that's a keyword, how to make money online, that's a keyword, social media marketing, that's a keyword. So these are all things that I want to be known for. So that is just the basics of setting up your profile. Then you've got your boards. So your very first board, this is all about the vid every single video I have on my Social Media Growth Hacks YouTube channel. So it's called Social Media Growth Hacks Videos, I believe, yeah. And then I have a pretty long description, YouTube channel and website dedicated to hashtag social media marketing, growing your blog, YouTube and Instagram, learning how to make money from social media channels and promotion. It also includes posts about TikTok, Facebook and even affiliate marketing. There's a typo there, I need to fix that. Um, but as you can see, loads of different keywords within the description. So then potentially if you were to search for some of these keywords, then potentially if you searched up here and then clicked boards, your board might show up. So, 
social media growth. So social media growth, there's my profile there. Um, you've also got my board listed, social media growth hacks. Now I don't know about these things, let's try growing your blog. Growing your blog. So I'm not quite high up for that, but you've got other people that have boards about growing your blog. I guess they're probably named, the board name is growing your blog. Yeah, grow your blog, Christian blog, learn how to start and grow your blog. So if I go back out, so you're really going to want to use the full amount of characters that you're allowed to use um, and get as many keywords as possible into your board description. I'll go into another board and then we can look. So blogging hacks, this is another board I have. This board is full of tips for new bloggers, blogging hacks, advice on how to start a blog, how to grow your website and how to make money blogging. All the blogging tips you will need. So there are so many keywords in there. You've got blogging tips, new bloggers, blogging hacks, advice on how to start a blog, how to grow your website, how to make money blogging. So really stuffed it with keywords there. So if I type in up here, blogging hacks, and then just click boards. No, wait, go to home, exit. Blogging hacks. Yeah, so actually my my account does come up. Um, blogging hacks here. So let's see if it works for something that has a bit more competition. So click into my boards again. So I've got one on Instagram hacks. Uh, looking for the top Instagram hacks. Keyword tips and advice on how to grow your Instagram. Keyword. How to make money from Instagram, keyword. How to get more followers, Instagram followers, keyword. How to engage your audience on Instagram, keywords. Loads of different keywords, Instagram hacks. So we'll go to homepage again, Instagram hacks. So my board, I'm not coming up here. I guess I'm not big enough yet, but maybe in the future I will come up as one of the top people. So for all your different boards, I've got social media growth hacks, that's for all my videos, and then loads of different topics like blogging, Pinterest, podcasting, YouTube growth hacks, productivity hacks, how to grow your Instagram, how to grow your YouTube, SEO for beginning, beginners, starting a blog for beginners. I, I made this board here because that was one of the top keywords, blogging for, yeah, blogging for beginners. If you type in blogging to Pinterest, the thing most people search for is blogging for beginners. And as you can see down here, my profile is actually coming up, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and then my blogging hacks board is coming up. I put blogging for beginners. So I'm not coming up for blogging for beginners, but I did just create that board today. So maybe that will change. What about SEO for beginners? So my board is coming up and then just people I don't know. Probably some pretty big people if you click on them. 100,000 monthly views. What else? YouTube, Instagram. What about podcasting? Podcasting tips. Go to home. Podcasting. So my board is there. And then you've got three pretty big people, like Jenna Kutcher, she's pretty big. Um, podcasting. So if you Look at the keywords, podcasting for beginners, number one, podcasting tips is number two, podcasting tips. So my profile is not coming up, but that's okay, but you can find my board. All because of this description and SEO. Now, I also want to talk about your individual pins. So this is one I created a few days ago, how to start a podcast, click into it. And you'll see how long my description is, which I never did before. When I was doing Pinterest for my main blog, I never realized you needed a long description. So you're going to use lots of different keywords. So the article itself, if I click into it on my website, is how to start a podcast in 2020 interviews with two podcasters. Then the actual picture, the text on my pin says how to start a podcast. The name of the pin is beginner's guide to podcasting. And then the keywords within the description are different as well. <clears throat> Interested in podcasting, starting your own podcast, 
uh, how to start a podcast, how to promote a podcast, where to upload your podcast. As you can see, loads of different keywords and hashtags. Hashtag podcast, hashtag podcasting. And then it's I can pin it into different groups that are relevant. You save to podcasting tips. So I'm going to show you another pin description. How to start a blog in 2020. So how to start a blog in 2020, how to start a blog in 2024 beginners. So slightly different pin title. And it's actually very different to the actual blog name, which is how to start a blog on Bluehost setting up your first blog. So it is quite different. And then here, want to set up your own blog, but don't know how I filmed a quick five minute tutorial video for beginner bloggers keyword that shows you exactly how to start up blog in 2020. So lots of keywords, quite long. This is different to this is different to the actual um, blog name is different. So loads of different var varieties. And I have made a pin for this blog post about two or three times. And you can do five or 10 different pins and keep pinning them. How to grow on Instagram. So how to grow on Instagram, how to grow your Instagram following, and then the actual blog post, if it wants to load, how to grow your Instagram following in 2020, slightly different. And then again, loads of different keywords and hashtag Instagram. I'm gonna try to use more hashtags for sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you all of my boards quickly. So this is for my videos, blogging hacks, Pinterest marketing hacks, podcasting tips. I've also done um, little cover pictures. It looks quite good. It's really easy to do. You just design a pin. And then when you edit your board, you click here, board cover. And then all the choice of different images comes up. So pick the one that you've just uploaded. YouTube growth hacks, save changes. Um, do you want to change the description, make your description longer? You can just edit it in here. What kind of board is it? Technology. Done. So these are my boards. I'm not a member of any group boards yet, but that should change by tomorrow as I've just requested to join some group boards. And I'm going to do a video about that tomorrow to teach you how. It's actually quite easy. Um, yeah, so all the topics are very relevant to my videos and all very similar to do with social media, making money online and blogging. SEO, starting a blog. Okay, so I'm going to click into a pin and then tell you how you can find... Let's see, where's that affiliate post? Yeah, affiliate marketing. So this blog post is not called affiliate marketing. It's, well, okay, I named it five affiliate marketing strategies for beginners, but the, the video is actually top five affiliate blog posts. So it's about different types of affiliate blog posts that you can write. But people aren't really searching for affiliate blog posts. They're searching for affiliate marketing. So that's why affiliate marketing for bloggers, affiliate marketing for bloggers in 2020, and then even the title I changed to affiliate marketing strategies. So slightly different. And then the description, affiliate marketing tips. So if you're looking for what keywords to put in this here description and to put in the name of your pin, then you're just gonna use the search bar. So affiliate, yeah, and so I, I can see that Affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing for beginners, affiliate marketing on Pinterest, affiliate marketing without a blog, affiliate blog. So you've got affiliate blog post ideas, affiliate blog, affiliate blogging. So you can use these top search keywords and be sure to add them into your description um, so that they will rank on Pinterest search. So that's pretty much it. You just need to remember to SEO optimize the name of your profile the description of your profile, all of the boards, so the board names and the board descriptions, and also your individual pins. So the name of your pin, the description of your pin, and even the imagery of each single pin. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will be doing more Pinterest tutorials throughout the week.